So I'm on the roof of my big shop. I've been up here. I just finished pressure washing about six hours. Six hours pressure washing just the roof. I didn't realize how big it was. Uh, I've got my friend and fellow YouTuber, the Idaho Painters, coming today with his crew, and we're gonna paint my shop, which Mrs. Wrangler Star has coined the big brown band-aid. We're gonna paint it a, a nice color. So we're excited about that. So what I've had to do because I don't have enough pressure washer line to, to have the pressure washer on the ground and the wand up here is I had to build this little platform thing here uh, and the pressure washer sat, sits on the ridge. Um, it's just steep enough when it gets wet and slippery uh, that I didn't feel like I was safe. I thought I might fall off. So I uh, am roped up, but it's, uh, and, well, it's not the best rope job. My carabiner kind of just hooks on the ridge right there. Where is it? Um, but, well, I think it was psychological more than anything else. So this is great. Uh, a lot of oxidiz oxis oxidation, oxid kind of a powdery oxidation on here and all that had to come off. So I had to cover every square inch with the pressure washing wand and to prep this ready, prep this for paint. But uh, it's really clean now and hopefully it'll be a new color by tomorrow. So that's where I'm starting. So I'm gonna pull my pressure washer back down somehow. So down here, my van, the adventure van has actually been really handy for working around the house. It is my mobile scaffolding platform. So I've got the whole rest of the pressure washer all done. And also, uh, we're not only are we gonna be painting this building, but we're going to be painting the pottery barn right there. So we call it pottery barn. And that will be bright red too. So things will look a lot different around here very soon. So what we're about to attempt is gonna probably end up in a Darwin Award. Why don't we have the guys help you take it down? Because I need the pressure washer to finish the job. I only have one pressure washer. That's awesome. What's that? Well, you're gonna. I'm gonna hand it down to you. How heavy is it? Oh, 125 pounds or so. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> no, it's not that heavy. Here, I, I have a plan. You'll see here in a minute. What was that? Those were that earmuffs. <laughs> I had an extra dot. You want, an, you want an extra knot? I want an extra knot. Oh, it's a, it's a good knot. Oh, it towards my face. Just don't, don't get below it. If it were to fall. Then the ladder's just going to hit me. No, just stay to the side. You're just there to kind of help if there's a problem. So, where are you going? So... All right. How, is it hot? We would be better off to put it down on the ground. Okay. Is it hot? Yes. You want me to help guide this at all? Nope. And we're going to let go? Yep, let go. Okay, well when we get close, <laughs> tell me when to stop and you pull it. You can go under the ladder now, ladder's safe. Okay. Grab the handle on the front and you pull it out, pull it out. Okay. Don't strain yourself, there you go. Okay, we are safe. Good job, mama. It was just to give you the illusion of safety. <laughs> Sometimes it's too funny. I'm, I'm sure it would have helped. It would have slowed your fall. Right? 
I don't think so. Break one leg is My forklift? Yeah. Well, I've talked about it quite a bit. I think I bought it for $600 10 years ago. Was it? It's so cute and all the little people get to ride on the belt. It wasn't running. It was a machine shop next door to my, uh, the big shop we had in town. And they drug it out on the parking lot and put a sign on it for sale. It doesn't run. And so I bought it and fixed it. And it's, it's been the best $600 I think I've ever spent.